Good morning, Ithaca High School. Welcome back to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Cora Easton, and today I'm joined by our brand new host, Fran Cannon. Thanks, Cora. I'm glad to be a part of the Lake Street News team. On today's show, we have updates on the missing Saudi journalist, the annual engineering cardboard boat regatta, Tracy Matrano's recent visit to Ithaca High School, and for those that couldn't make it, details on how to view the college financial advisement event. For those unfamiliar with the story, a Saudi Arabian journalist, Jamal Khashoggi, was reported missing after he did not exit the Saudi consulate in Turkey after closing on October 2nd. Up until earlier this week, the Saudi Arabian leaders were not admitting that they had anything to do with his disappearance. On Wednesday, an audio recording of Khashoggi's disappearance was leaked by Turkish officials. The Saudi officials are preparing to admit the journalist Jamal Khashoggi was killed during a botched interrogation. The Turkish police believe that Khashoggi was tortured and killed by a group containing 15 Saudis. There is also an anonymous police report that claimed that the body was moved out of the consulate without a trace. Security camera footage caught Khashoggi entering the consulate but never exiting. A former U.S. ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Robert Jordan, said that he is very certain that Saudi Arabia killed Jamal Khashoggi. American intelligence officials are becoming increasingly convinced based on circumstantial evidence that leaders of Saudi Arabia had something to do with the journalist's disappearance. In lighter news, this week the Technology and Engineering Department held their annual cardboard boat regatta in the high school pool. Our advisor, Mr. Shine, was on the scene to cover the event. Check it out. I know what you're thinking. Cardboard doesn't float. How on earth can they make a boat? Well, that is the challenge presented to the engineering students each year. The students were provided one roll of duct tape and were required to obtain their car own cardboard. <laughs> Teams design their cardboard using computer-aided design software and calculate the theoretical buoyancy of their design. For the first five weeks of school, they are working to perfect these designs and eventually construct them into the boats you see today. It is always a fun time. Be sure to come support the teams when they pitch their engineering product designs at their September Shark Tank style pitch night at Ithaca Rep. Good job teams, I'm glad everyone's boats worked. Sort of. As the November 6th election draws closer, the Ithaca community is considering who can best represent them in Congress. Did you go to the Tracy Matrano presentation on Monday? I did, yeah, it was really cool. What points did you think she made in her presentation? I really liked how she like outlaid her campaign very clearly. It was really interesting to see a mix of conservative and liberal values when she talked about her view on gun control. Because she's against the SAFE Act, which is a, I believe it's only in New York State, is an act that increases gun control. And she actually wants to repeal it because she felt it uh, discriminates against people with mental issues. And I thought it was really interesting to see that viewpoint coming from a liberal, especially in Ithaca. Yeah, I definitely thought she challenged most, most Ithacans' belief on gun control. Are you excited to see Tom Reed on Monday? I think it's going to be really interesting because I have a few friends who are already compiling a huge list of questions to ask him. I think it's going to be very different to what we saw at the presentation of Tracy Matrano, but I really hope that it's going to be just as interesting. Yeah, I definitely think the Ithaca student body will react in a quite different way. This past Monday, students and staff put on a college financial advisement event that was filled with tips and tricks for how to work the system to get the most out of your dollar when it comes to your college education. We will be sharing out a link to the video of the event in case you or your family missed it. Keep an eye out in your email. That's all for our show. We'll see you next time, IHS. Okay, so I'm looking it's in the middle. No, today. Yeah, yeah. I just woke up. All right, we're gonna do it again. Usually we'll both said, talk through that, but I guess they decided not to do that. No, just instead of waiting on a good day. Who wrote the script? I have a few critiques. Waiting around, do ups and downs, waiting on something to happen. Because usually for that part, we have to be angry. We both speak at the end. It's like you're.